Hey guys, it's Nikki here, and today I'll be doing a review on the new Monster Exchange dolls. I got them from TootsToys.com. I'll leave the link to their fabulous store in the description box, and stay tuned for pictures of their boxes at the end of the video. I'm going to begin with Laguna. So she has this adorable headpiece on. It's blue. I'll give you a 360 of that and her hair as well. It's all curly. I absolutely love it. And she's also got this little flower in her hair. I'll move her little passport out of the way. Just check that out. And her earrings are little octopus. How cute. For her makeup, she's got a greenish aqua eyeshadow with a pinky lipstick. It's super adorable. And as for her outfit, she's wearing a black short jacket with some cute little designs. And this really pretty layered dress. Just check that out. I really like this dress a lot. I'd love to own it myself. She also comes with this shell bag. Just check out the detailing on there. There's like a little octopus on it too to match her earrings and a little spider web. Loving it. And they each come with a passport. Because they are traveling. It's so cool. I love the little passports. Next is her shoes. They are really, really fab, but they're not my favorite. They have a little rose on them. And there are no heels. There's no heels on them. I'm in love, though. They're super cute. Be sure to leave your favorite shoes in the comments, guys. And that's it for the doll. Here is Laguna's passport. She comes from the United States of America. I'll open it up. You can see her passport picture and her little information. It's so cute. And then you open it up here. And you can see her entries. You guys can pause and read as always. She has a lot to write. And just in case you don't have Laguna's first bio, it comes in here. And that's it for Laguna. Next is Marisol Coxie. She has a green top hat headband with pinky hair and green streaks to match. I'll give you a 360 of that. Green and pink are her favorite colors, so you might be seeing them a lot on this doll. She's got green and pink eyeshadow, of course, with pinky lips. She's wearing a pink tube top with an orange designed short jacket. There's little feet on it for Bigfoot, you know. And at the end of this braid, she's got a little, like, flower. Check that out. She's also wearing a black and green layered skirt. It's very flowy material. I love it. And I want to show you guys how cool her arms are. So look, she's got, like, these big hands and, like, these furry arms and big claws. I love how they really stuck with the Bigfoot theme. And she also comes with the passport, of course. She also comes with this bag. By the way, be sure to leave your favorite bag in the comments, guys. I love Lagunas. She's also, well, it's got little feet on here. And it does open up, but I won't do that because it's going to be like a pain to close with one hand. But it's super, super cute. And notice her feet. Her feet are way bigger than all the other monsters because she is the daughter of Bigfoot. She's about the size of Nephra as well. So... Her shoes have like little triangular holes in them and they're a wedge. These are my favorite shoes. I think out of all of them, they are so, so pretty. And that's it for the doll. Next is her passport book. So it's green and pink, of course. It's got her passport picture and everything. I love these. They're so cute. And I'll pause. Well, I'll let you pause and read if you want to. By the way, guys, speaking of Nephra, she is, they're coming out with a new Nephra doll. I posted it on my Facebook if you guys want to check that out. The link is always in the description. But, like, I'm so excited for her. I've been waiting for Nephra for so long. I'm just going to freak out when she comes here. I might just have a heart attack while opening the box. <laughs> and, of course, she comes with a bio. She's 17, and she is a South American Bigfoot daughter. And her BFFs are Abby Abominable and Lorna McNessie. And that's it for Marisol. 
Next is Lorna McNessy. She's the daughter of the Loch Ness Monster. She's got a cute little hat on the side with this beautiful orange hair. I'll give you a 360 of that. It's got really pretty highlights and low lights in it. It's so cool. She has sparkly skin too and she's also got a dark eyeshadow with pink and pinky lips. Her earrings are colossal. And she's wearing a cute little red top with a little bit of mesh over here. She's got a plastic belt with a design skirt like the C. It's a little bit of a harder material too and it's kind of layered. And she comes with a passport, of course. She's got these beautiful fins on her legs as well. By the way guys, she is a shorter doll, just like Twyla. She's got these cute little feet with black shoes. The little wedges, they look kind of like brick walls, if you see that. Oh, and I don't want to forget to mention how awesome her tail is. Look at this. It's so cute, isn't it? Loving it. That's it for the doll. I forgot to show you guys her bag. So it's this really cute bag with a little sea monster on it. And it's got little scaly-like designs. It does open up. And it looks like this in the back. Here is her passport. It says Rotland and there's a little passport over there. And here is her passport picture and her information. And you guys can pause and read as always. Her writing is really big and she has a lot of entries in here. I don't know if you guys noticed but in the background there's like little passport stamp designs. almost at the end and she includes a bio of course so she's only 14 she loves plaid and her best friends are Gil and Marisol and that's it for Lorna here is a Draculaura she looks absolutely fabulous for this series it has to be one of my favorite Draculauras of all time check out how beautiful her bow headpiece is it reminds me a lot of Cupid which we are missing Cupid She's got beautiful like bats coming off of it too, and her hair is in this unique do. I'll give you a 360 of that. Just check this out. Kind of looks like the Sweet 1600 do a bit, don't you find? It's mainly pink her hair too, so I love when they do that. And as for her makeup, she looks very unique this time. I love the way her eyebrows go like just straight up like that. It's a very edgy look. She's also got a pink eyeshadow with pinky lips. And she has a kind of a kimono type top over here with a plastic belt. And the bottom of her dress is kind of a harder material. Or the bottom of her skirt, sorry. And she's got a little bit of mesh underneath here. It looks like little fans. It's very beautiful. And she's also got this huge heart kind of shaped bag. I love it. It's so cool. Draculaura is super unique for this series. And her shoes are absolutely beautiful. Look at this. There's little bows on there with like little spider web block looking heels. I love them. That is it for Draculaura. Next is her little passport. She comes from the United States of Scamerica with her little passport. And here is her passport picture. Wouldn't it be nice if passport's pictures actually turned out that nice? <laughs> I love her writing. I'll, as always, I will flip through so you guys can see. By the way, guys, I want to remind you that the Gloom and Bloom, there's going to be more coming out, so I'm going to be waiting on that review. And, of course, they give you a bio, just in case you missed it the first time. And that's it for Draculaura. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't already. Leave a comment which of these ladies is your favorite. To me, I love Marisol and Draculaura Tide. They're just both amazing. Oh my god. Like this video, favorite, share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos. Add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are always in the description box. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yo!